Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide for another reading. Just hearing from Spirit, the word to impart. And so if you click on to this message, it already resonates with you. And I hope that it will leave you encouraged, motivated, inspired to keep pressing, keep going. It doesn't matter what the obstacles with the divine with god on your side all things are possible so you're too anointed to be disappointed if this is your first time again i welcome you i hope this message resonates you will subscribe give the videos a like a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated for the support of the growth of the channel leave a comment if you felt led to do so returning soul tribers returning family members and new subscribers thank you so very much i welcome you i am so happy that we found each other and together we are growing we are empowered and we're a force to reckon with and so here we go so again with the cards i shuffled i meditated and i stopped when the divine told me to so the cards that i have a lot of you you've had you, you've dealt with some of you you probably are dealing with hateful siblings at this time some of you this is an attack that's been on your life ever since you were a child your siblings they just did not like you for one reason or another and it's jealousy again not every family is a relative and so these people even though you were born within that lineage it's like they're they're your enemies from the start they're working for another entity another source some of these people came into your life to actually take you out to work against you to come against you and so you're realizing some of you that a lot of the things that happen in your life is because your siblings were behind those attacks that you were going through because again when people are jealous and they're envious they can do anything they're capable of doing anything again all you have is just the genes together but like they say seven brothers seven different minds again especially if you are chosen if you are a generation curse breaker, you must expect to get this fight from your siblings. They can't even express it. They themselves don't even know it, why they don't like you. Again, it's because they are sent into your life. They're, they're in opposition they too when they when they're so hateful and bitter they're just as bad as a stranger who is an enemy even worse because sometimes these people they hate you so much and you're under the same roof and you don't even know it so some of you that's what you have dealt with some of you this is what you're you're realizing right now that a lot of the things that happen in your life or has been happening it's because your siblings did not like you spirit is saying speak your truth at this time so some of you you're probably speaking out about the treatment that you receive from your siblings try to turn other people against you again they they speak negatively badly on your name trying to embarrass you instead of them protecting you covering you they are the ones leading the pact spewing hate so spirit is saying speak your truth it's okay to speak on it and some of you 
you you're doing this you have done this or this is something that you're going to do a lot of these siblings they are the ones you probably had relationships they help to sabotage those because they don't want you to be happy they like to see you frustrated and upset again because they're working for the enemy to sabotage your dreams to sabotage your destiny because they too saw they too can see the light that is on your life and it's like they're an undercover hater who was working against you all this time for a lot of you, spirit is saying you are psychic, you are intuitive, and you know this. Some of you, you're learning about this. It's like your psychic intuitive ability, it's kicking in. And things are, you know, it's like your third eye is opening and you're becoming more aware of this situation in your family. Spirit is saying you are enough. You are enough. There is a quote that I wrote that I have been through enough to know that I am enough. You don't need those people because truth is who needs an enemy when you have these people already against you? You know, you don't need them. They don't like you anyways. So Spirit is saying you are enough. You are more than enough. You're complete in and of yourself. A lot of you, you're coming into your own. Some of you, it's because, and again, guys, please, this is an energy. So a lot of you, divine feminine could be divine masculines as well. This is why they don't like you. You're an empire. You're an empress. Everything that you touch turns to gold. You are a manifester. The divine is on your side. These siblings, they don't like you because they see that you are favored by God. Like I said, they see. It's like they see the halo that you have. They see that there is anointing that you carry. You birth things. You are creative. A lot of you, you have your own business. They don't like that. You're doing very well. They don't like that. Even though in and of their strength, they may be trying to create and work and hustle and build. But for you... The divine is opening up a path for you. You're a divine feminine, divine masculine. Divine, you're a god, you're a goddess. You are a son or a daughter of the Most High God. And of course you are favored. And this is why, this is, this is what aches them. This is why they are so pressed. This is why they are big mad. Because you're favored by God. The divine is saying you are too anointed to be disappointed by hateful people. You are enough. You're anointed. You're speaking your truth. You're going to speak your truth. You're psychic. You're intuitive. And again, all of this is like it, it's, a, it's an upload. Or some may say it's a download. It's revealed to you. It's like the divine just dropped this in your lap. Where things are now, it's like, wow, you've taken the rose color glasses off. Speak the truth about the spells that these people have done. The spiritual warfare that your own family members 
they want to take you out. They work with people to sacrifice you, to steal from you, to oppress you, suppress you. They want what you have. They're jealous. They want the things you work so hard for. Like I said, they gang up on you. Spells, it doesn't mean, you know, it's a pot with brew. It could be words. They slander your name, speak ill against you. As I said before, they go around instead of them protecting you as a sibling. They want to see you down. They want to turn everybody against you to create disgrace on you. But Spirit is saying, speak your truth. So with your psychic intuitive ability, Spirit is saying, now you know the truth. The truth sets you free. It's time to forgive and to heal. Remember, forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to hang out with these people. You forgive them unconditional love through the love of the divine now that it's revealed to you what are you going to do about it you if you become hateful like them then you become like them you don't want that you are different you're a divine being you're a child you're a son of the most high god and this is why the divine is saying you are enough you are enough. Again, they were working against you to turn people against you, to create enemies for you, for you to be isolated. And the divine is saying through it all, you are enough. You're not disappointed because you're anointed. You are enough. A lot of you, some of you, you have had loved ones who pass away this may be a confirmation that deceased loved ones are protecting you and they love you they are like your guardian angel your ancestors your guides they are working on your behalf and they too want you to know that you are enough you are enough you are enough. They are aware. Whomever this deceased loved one is, they can see from a higher perspective. Maybe when they were here on earth, they could, they could not see it. But now, in the spirit, they can see that your siblings, they really don't like you. And so they are working on your behalf. They love you. They want you to know that you are enough. Look, the stone that the builder rejected became the main cornerstone. So for a lot of these hateful siblings, again, this message, it's not what I was thinking would come out. But I think this is what God wants. And I'm just a vessel willing and ready to be used so for for a lot of you these hateful siblings one day you are the stone that they rejected and you will become the main cornerstone a lot of these people will have to come back to you for forgiveness to come back to you for help because one thing that i know for sure is that the divine takes care of his own and here we see you're a divine being, divine masculine, divine feminine. And even if you're a male, this may be the, 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 the trait. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So in your feminine energy, that's where you're more psychic, you're more intuitive. You're open to receive from the divine. So even if you're a male, this is not a negative thing because you're psychic, you're intuitive. And so the divine is opening up all of this to you. Some of you, you already know this 
and you're already speaking about it, telling your truth. For a lot of these hateful siblings, they're in some cult, some group, whatever, they gang up to talk about you, to slander you. They come together with other people. Like I said, some of them, they even, they wanted to take away your life. They want you to be bitter, but spirit says, do better. You are better. You are enough. Give love a chance. You deserve love. And it's already done. For a lot of you, you have bossed up. And spirit is saying, angels are protecting you. So you have angels protecting you and you have deceased loved ones protecting you and loving on you as well. And these people are going to realize that they fumbled the bag. You are the main cornerstone. Like I said, a lot of these, these, these siblings, they gather up other siblings against you as well. But you are enough. You don't need them anyway. Guess what? Spirit is going to give you a brand new start. Ace of Cup. This is coming from the hands of God. New people are going to come into your life to pour into you. People who are emotionally ready and stable. Loving on yourself. Spirit is saying your balance. Again, you are enough. I am loving on you, the divine is saying. I am enough for you. The Knight of Cups. Flowing attraction. Again, emotion. This is us, Cups. You're going to have people coming into your life. These people can't stop you. These hateful siblings can't stop you. As you speak your truth regarding the things that they're doing, like I said, spells, whether they're speaking, whether they are doing work in other, you know, low vibrational things to come against you. Spirit is saying they can't stop you. You're still loving everything that is for you. It is still flowing into your life. You're attracting blessings, love your soul tribe, your soul family, people, these are steady connections that are coming into your life. No flaky, nothing, even though they wanted you by yourself. See, these people, they wanted, this is the five of wands. They were bringing conflicts into your life. Competition. This is why I said they were jealous of you, envious of you. And this is why they were fighting, look, like button heads. You and these siblings just could not get along. Like I said, you don't even know why they don't like you. They don't even understand why. But again, this is spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. It's because of your energy. It's because of the light that is in you. It's because of the work that you're here to carry out. It's because of the blessing on your life. It's because you're a generational curse breaker. It's because you're chosen. This is why they don't like you. And this is, and this is why, like I said, with the psychic intuitive ability, this is what is revealed to you. Some of you, it was already shown to you. And this is why the divine is saying it is time to forgive and heal. You know the truth. Now let the truth set you free. Now you can have peace like, oh, wow. Now I get it. Now I understand why they didn't like me. Now I understand why they tore up my clothes. They burn up my this. They burst my jewelry. The evil things they said about me to me. Now I understand why. Five of Cups. Haunting loss. Spirit says there is no love loss here. Stop crying over spilt milk. It is their loss. 
And this is why Spirit is saying you are enough. Stop worrying about them. They think they're doing what they need to do. Spirit is saying you need to do what you need to do. That is heal, forgive, and just know that you are enough. You don't need them. It is sad, but it's the truth. You don't need your enemies. And this is why, like I said, from a higher perspective, anyone you've had passed away, deceased loved ones, they are seeing this and they're protecting you. They're protecting you. This card came out in reverse, the Eight of Wands. In upright, it would be accelerating quickly. So that means blessings come into your life quickly. Fast movement, action, messages come into you. When it's in the reverse, no traction. This is what the enemy wanted for you. But in the end, this is what's coming to them. They are not going to get any traction. So they wanted to slow things down in your life. But no, the divine is giving you a fresh start, a brand new beginning in love, showers of blessing. This is what I'm saying. You're too anointed to be disappointed. Three of coins. Like I said, building foundation, stable, slow and steady, win the race. You're going to have people who will come into your life to collaborate, to build with you. You're, you're going to start over fresh. A, a strong foundation. Soul tribes, soul families, soul mates. Not every family is relative. You're going to meet strangers who are going to feel like, yes, you feel like home. You feel like home. Page of coins. Recognize opportunity. So once you do your healing, you're off to a brand new start. Into your future again. The coins, these are stability, tangible, concrete stuff. Like we saw the card earlier, you're bossing up. New ideas. You're opening businesses. Going back to school. You are just looking for everything, opportunity around you. But see, that's the thing. Unforgiveness blocks those things. Unforgiveness will block your creativity. And this is why the divine is saying forgive and heal. So that will open up your pathway, your future, your destiny. When you don't forgive, it's like a roadblock. Let these people go so that you can go off into your paradise into the life these people held you back long enough by the words out of their mouth or any iniquity any evil deeds they were doing working with people to attack you to come against you this is your time to live now take your power back wow eight of coins acquiring expertise again work hard this is you working very hard, diligently. You master your craft. Spirit is saying you are enough. There is no need to cry over spilt milk. Your loved ones who pass away, they are protecting you. And they're also helping to open doors for you. They are like your guiding angel. You see here, the torch is passed on to you. This is what I'm saying. A lot of you, you are the generational curse breaker. This is like your, your, your passed on loved one 
who is handing you the torch to say, keep running the race. It is not finished. Don't allow these hateful siblings to stop you. Don't allow the things they are saying against you to get you discouraged. You are enough. None of what they are saying is true. Don't believe the lies. Run the race. Run the, ra run the race. It's like I didn't get to finish it. I'm passing the baton on to you. To finish. Finish. Breaking these curses. Wow. Finish these exes. See, you're doing this for your family. Grateful togetherness. They're cheering you on. They're proud of you. They're celebrating from a higher dimension. From the spiritual realm, they're cheering you on. grateful togetherness this is why they are they are protecting you they are around you you are a high priestess again you are intuitive i love that we have the psychic yes you are the psychic see the third eye this is what i'm telling you the divine is giving you downloads giving you that awareness that awakening and this is why a lot of you know you're like, wow, oh man, it's like out of the blue, things are probably coming back to you of things that were done to you in your life. People you consider siblings, you love people around you, you call them my sister, my brother. And they hurt you. Now today you are the high priest, high priestess, you are psychic. You're a servant of the divine. God tells you his secrets. And this is why when you open up and you tell these people about the things that you know, you know, they're going to call you all kind of names. Some of you, you don't even tell them. You just do your healing and keep pushing because you can't convince a wicked person anyway. You're too anointed to be disappointed. Yeah, you know your worth. Spirit is saying you've elevated. You are elevated. You're not who you, you were in the past. A lot of you, these people try to dog you, shame you, insult you, embarrass you. But now you know who you are. You are enough. You are enough. You are not who they say you are. You are who the divine says that you are. Yes, I'm telling you. You have friends in the spiritual realm that is speaking into your ear. This is how you're knowing. You're psychic. You have your angels. You have your ancestors, your guides who are telling you, giving you downloads. Wow, this is awesome. You are born to shine, you're a star. This is what I'm telling you, it's like they saw your halo, your glow, you stand out. For a lot of you, back then you were the ugly duckling and now the table has turned in your favor. You were at the bottom, you have now risen to the top. They can't stop your shine. Spirit is saying, don't allow them to dim you. Do not dim to fit in. When you feel any spirit of insecurity, when you feel emotional, I know it's sad when you wish these people could be with you. But they walk themselves out of heaven, guys. They walked away from the star. And if it means you stand alone, spirit says shine, shine on. You are too anointed to be disappointed. You are beautiful. You are handsome. This path, you must travel alone. Physically, but you know, you have your source. God is with you. Look, this is why they couldn't stand you. You're sovereign. 
you are royalty. This is why they can't, they, they can't deal with you. This is why they are so pressed. They hate you. They want people to see you in a negative light by speaking ill on your name. But people know the truth. For a lot of them, people are looking at them funny because that's not your character. For a lot of you, people know you as a genuine friend. See, self. Self. A lot of you, you're by yourself, just loving on yourself. In your cage, you come out when you're ready to get fresh air. But you're not worrying about anybody. Again, you have taken up, you, you picked up the button. You're going to finish the race that your ancestors didn't finish. You're called to love on yourself. You are enough. This is you knowing you are enough. You are enough. You're not alone. You're happy. You're glowing. You're radiating. In your home. In your quiet time. In your isolation. Look, you're making yourself a priority. You're not wasting time on people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Especially not on people who hate you. You're releasing some of you, you're out in nature, you're meditating. Again, you're forgiven and you're healing. See, you're, you're barefoot, you're getting grounded. Beautiful. 